Welcome back. In the previous video, we did the pagination for income list. And if you check it out, the API, the inside the postman, we can move from page to page based on the page number. So in this video, we are going to work on the expenses and we're going to play the same way we did for income. So if you want to do it or try on your own, you can pause this video and try your luck. So with that being said, let's go ahead and implement pagination for our expenses. So inside SRC here, and um, first of all, we need to locate the model. One more time, um, the way, okay, I have the model here, so expenses is here. So the way we did for income, gonna be the same thing. So I'm gonna make some copy and paste. So for the income, we require the package so let's copy that and come to expenses and paste that and the last thing is let's plug in the package so for the income this is how we did it and then let's come to expenses and below before you compile our model let's place it here and let's change this one to expenses schema and that is it the first part is done the next part is let's go inside the controller you know here expenses and expense controller one more time and last video i did the arrangement of my files wasn't correct to have put them in the right folders all right so here first of all the way we did for the income is pretty simple like instead of using find i'm going to use paginate so if you want to if you're watching from this video you can you have to go back and watch the way we did for the income so the first one takes is your criteria your query criteria we don't want to make some query here to so empty string the next one going to be my object to give me some limits on on each limit let's provide 10 and for page number let's get it from here the query string so const let's destructure the page from that and then let's destructure page and because in the query string, um, what's, what's given the box is, an, is a string, but this package requires to, to be a number. So let's convert it to a number and provide the page. And that is it. And that is it. So let's go ahead and try it out for the expenses. So for expenses here, fetch all. And when I fetch like this, you see bad value. So I need to provide query string and say page and in page let's provide page number one there we go and then if you provide let's say 10 18 pages there's no the number of record is up to 18 it's gonna give us empty array and there we go we have it this additional properties we can make use of in the front end so here ends the video pagination of expenses so if you want to deep dive you can watch the uh, the last video of pagination of the income list otherwise here in the video